lay low I don't give a fuck, I'm a fucking angel Look at the halo around my head Baby girl, you better get in my bed And give me some head Nah, no, I don't give a fuck, ho I'ma let you know that I'll be rolling in the bucks Whoa, you need to slow down, calm down I don't give a fuck, bitch I'ma let that thong out How you guys doing today? Studio fucking Sunday. It's technically a Friday. I just got off work and uh, decided to head over to the studio for a little session. I'm gonna do some freestyles uh, for Freestyle Fridays because I'm slacking on those. I am gonna obviously get this Studio Sunday video recorded and I'm gonna smoke some weed. Um, That's really all I have planned. I might do my weekly update while I'm here since I haven't done that yet. And it is fucking Friday. And that video is supposed to come out tomorrow. So maybe we'll do that after uh, I smoke this blunt, do some freestyles. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm going to get that shit done while I can before the homies get here. Um, yeah. I don't know how you guys have been doing. Fucking, not much has changed here in the studio. Everything's pretty much exactly the same way it was when I was here last time. Um, I'm just fucking kicking it, you know? I've got some fucking dank ass weed. Just hit the dispensary up on the way here. Can't get these stupid fucking wraps open, though. That's, that's, uh. This is unfortunate. Very unfortunate right now. thing is, we don't seem to have any trash bags in here, so I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with all of my trash. Mm. Oh shit, dude. I got some CBD fucking live resin today. Fucking. Maybe I'll throw some of that on the blunt. I've never fucking really smoked straight CBD in like... I smoke straight CBD on my I just haven't smoked like straight live resin CBD. It's a completely different situation, I think, in my opinion. Live resin is my favorite, bro. If you haven't figured that out yet. I love live resin. I like wax, but... Live resin is the best form of wax. It's the most pure and natural... Shit was only 20 bucks for a gram. It's a little bit old, but... That's why this shit was on sale, man. I can't believe nobody really ever bought this. Dude, you ever feel like the shit you do is just stupid? <laughs> like... Right, right now, me talking to the camera, I just feel like it's so fucking pointless and stupid almost. But at the same time, like, I enjoy doing it, if that makes any sense at all. Like, it's just like... I'm kind of thinking back to, like, how I was when I first started doing this shit, and then it's like, why are you even fucking doing this? It's so fucking pointless. Like, you get, like, ten views, maybe. Maybe a little bit more on these type of videos, and it's like, why the fuck are you wasting your time recording it and editing it and doing all that stuff? And it's like, I enjoy doing it, and it's, I guess it's for more than just the views, right? I do it for... The enjoyment of doing it gives me something to keep my mind preoccupied and like helps me grow my skills. Maybe one day I will be able to gain that following, you know? Or like maybe my fucking kids in the future, or my fucking grandkids in the way distant future, my great great grandkids. Shout out Gary Vee, he kind of put this concept in my head of the with YouTube videos, like they can see your legacy and kind of get a better idea of who you are as a person, right? in ways that they couldn't back in the day. Cause like, we can't necessarily go back and be like, oh, our great grandparents were this. Like, I never met any of my, well, that's a lie. I met my great grandma, and then on my stepdad's side of the family, I've met, you know, like, 
his grandpa and shit. So like, I met his, I met the great grandparents on that side of the family. But like, my grandma and grandpa never met their side of the family. Um, my, well, like on my mom's side, my dad's side, uh, my great grandma was alive. I never met my great grandpa. Um, so like. The concept is, right, if they were able to fucking record and do all the things that we do now, right, it'd be a lot of fucking shit to go back and watch. But, like, if you were so interested... I don't know why I just put that way. If you were interested in learning about what they did or, like, you know, you want to see anything about them, you can do that. And, uh, sure, sure, they might think it's stupid or boring or they might not want to watch it because of video quality or something like that. Like, you can come up with 900 reasons as to why to not do something, right? But the... The fact that they might or somebody might watch this and give a fuck is cool to me. Like, my Pokemon videos do great. I still average about fucking 2,000 hours of watch time a week, and I'm gaining around 2,000 plus views a week also, you know? So, like, I don't know. It just, to me, it's still worth it because other videos on my channel are getting attention, and, like, some of my videos do better than others. Um... I just really wish everything was more consistent, like the views were more consistent. I guess that's probably why people split their channel. It's because certain videos do better on certain channels, like people will come to your channel for certain shit. Like, me, I'm mixing the game stuff with music along with cars. Like, I'm doing everything, but what, which to me it just makes more sense to do a full life um, vlog, blog type situation, right? Because it's just easier to manage one channel. You don't have to tell people to come subscribe to my channel. Your viewer base normally is going to be the same people that you have on your other channels. Like, I'm subscribed to the same dude four times or three times because he's got three channels, right? I find that kind of fucking stupid. Just, just a little bit. I think another thing with the videos is it helps you be a little bit more situationally aware, right? Like, if you're not already... Well, no, I guess I shouldn't say situationally aware, because situationally aware depends on the situation, right? It makes you more self-aware, and it kind of helps you with your situational awareness and, like, how you act as a person. Because, like, there's times where I'll be editing stuff, and I'll be like, damn, bro, you were a piece of shit to your friend that day, like... Cutting people off in conversation or hitting the blunt more times than I'm supposed to, you know, like stupid little shit. Like you kind of see your flaws and you can kind of help yourself grow. Um, it also gives you a good base to see how you've grown. I don't know, man. The vlogs are the shit. Vlogs, vlogs are something. I need to learn to promote and get stuff out in public view so people can fucking see my shit a little bit more. Currently, not trying too hard, I don't think, um, on all aspects of life. I'm like in a, in a limbo of like comfortability. comfortability. If that makes any sense. Like, I'm just comfortable doing what I'm doing, and I'm not comfortable... Or, well, I'm comfortable doing what I'm doing, and I'm not going above and beyond like I would like to see myself doing, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I don't know what my plan is for the freestyle, but I think I'm going to record the freestyle now. Uh, I think I'm just going to, you know, include my weekly update into this video. So, for the weekly update, guys... Um, this week has been interesting. Melissa, well, if you've already seen the past videos, you know, I've been working on her alternator. AutoZone sold us two bad alternators, so I had to drop the alternator three times and put a new one in, and it's just been a pain in the ass. Fucking, I don't know. I like working on cars. I don't like doing the same shit over and over again. It's so far, it's so good. Um, I need to get brakes for my car. I need to get an oil pan gasket seal for my car get all that done we are going up north next weekend 
to my grandpa's house, so we'll have a vlog for that. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I have for the weekly update. And, uh, I don't know, we might grow the studio video. So I'm going to put it on hold until something else happens. The boys might show up, so. Look at this, look at this, dude. We just got the fucking set up today. Oh shit, we working off the small monitor? What's up with the TV and the... This is... This is some shit. I'm about to try to make a beat. So I might bring you guys along for that adventure. The beat. The beat making experience. <clears throat> Fucking... Just freestyled for 22 minutes. Ish. I don't know, I think I got like two or three good freestyles for Freestyle Fridays, so we should at least have one or two coming up for next week and then the week after.
you guys in the next Studio Sundays. Thank you for uh, watching. Look at this guy.